Going to use an exercise now where one person at a time, if they choose, is going to move or travel towards a line of spotters. In the books, this is referred to as I trust you but, because we'll have a line of spotters very wide. We'll have someone probably 20, 25 meters away who, after we've gone through the appropriate safety calls of are you ready? Yes, we're ready. Spotters ready? Okay, I'm about to run. Will then, at three quarter pace, run with their eyes closed towards the rest of the spotters. If you are a spotter, that is we have a line of spotters, your object is to keep, obviously, your eyes on the person running towards you. Remember, they've got their eyes closed. And meet your hands with their hands, because they'll be running with their bumpers up as best you can. Ideally, you'll have two or three people perhaps meeting hands with that person as soon as you, the person who's running, comes into contact with the spotters, we ask you to stop. Don't keep going, you only mow over more people. So to repeat, in the moment we're going to have a line of spotters. You'll be effectively really only no more than probably a metre apart from each other in terms of where your feet are, so there's no big gaps. If though the person doesn't run in a straight line, we can clearly move a little bit. Our object is to be able to meet that person and often what I find is if you run back just a couple of steps with them, it'll help decelerate their pace as well. The person who will be choosing to run towards that group, your object is to keep a steady pace as possible. You won't know when you've hit the line until you've actually come in contact with the line. Watch what happens as we go. And we'll go through it several times. At the end of this exercise, so you're going up a little bit of a hill here. Yeah. Now keep that in mind, but in a moment, you'll have your eyes closed and you'll have your bumpers up. So it'll look a little bit like this. The idea is to keep your pace as consistent as possible, okay? Right. Don't start until we've gone through a series of calls. So we'll go through the calls. The calls and the words used aren't very important so much as the exchange of the calls to make sure everyone is ready. So on this occasion, I'll just simply say, you gotta ask if your spotters are ready We'll just say spotters are ready, at which point you may choose to move. Can I ask you to just go back a little bit further for me, Jack? Do you want to move a little bit more to your right, mate? Just so that you're somewhere in the middle. Remember in group, if he happens to veer, we're able to move. You're not stationary little statues. Have you got the idea? Yes. All right, spotters, uh, so we got your spotters ready. When you're ready, Jack, nice big voices. We'll use the same over here. Spotters ready. Spotters ready. Hey. Good play, well played. Excellent spotting, good running as well. Now, I'm going to suggest we do it again. We'll do it several more times. As much as is possible, I would ask that the group keep silent. Is it possible, Jack, you could hear the line getting closer to you? A little bit. A little bit. Okay, not wrong or right, it's just going to give you a few clues that you're getting close. The object is, as much as possible, it should come as a surprise when you actually meet your spotters. We've got time for quite a few more people. Who would like to go next? Now we have an idea of what that looks like. Got it, Nelly? Off you go. Remember, you're, always, you're going uphill in the way we've placed ourselves here, so just be sure that you start in the center. Start with the calls. Ready. Ready. And that was called I Trust Your Butt. I Trust Your Butt? <laughs> so where do you think that name comes from? Trust you, you know, often most of the uh, very inventive names aren't particularly inventive. They actually reflect the name of the game. So why do you think it's called I Trust Your Butt? Because we don't. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah. Did we see any of that? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. At the yeah. end. Yeah. yeah. Right until the, like, you right get the yeah. It's like I'm trusting you and then, oh, I don't yeah. trust you. <laughs> And not for wrong or right, it's just that's a really natural thing that's baked in to us as human beings is to survive, is to look after ourselves. And there's that sense of, so if you were running, there was a, you know, half a dozen or more of you who did have a go at running, what did you notice? 
What, why, what, what happened for you as you were running? What were some of the thoughts that went through your mind? I felt as though that I should have hit the line a lot yeah. sooner than I did. Yeah. That's what made me, I wasn't worried that you weren't going to catch me. It was yeah. about more yeah. like, I, you should, I should, I'm in that field. Right now. <laughs> yeah. It's this perception of expectations, the one, and when you sort of, those expectations are sort of exceeded, then it's sort of like you're in this, Mm -hmm. kind of like no man's land. Like yeah. I want to take control and figure it out again and have new expectations. You know, yeah, perfect. You know, and that's yep. so it's kind of cool. And that's you know, I was so far off. I was like, I should have hit them. And ah. you're about thirty yards away from me. <laughs> yeah, and then there's the surprise whereabouts along the line. You've also been caught. Yeah. You thought you went for the center, but a number of us were actually left mm -hmm. or right of that. Yeah, I found it very freeing because I, I, it was, I could let go and run and know that I was going to be okay. Yeah. And that was a really freeing, mm -hmm. freeing feeling. Yeah. I trusted. I let go. Great. And yet we know for certain, uh, with, even within our own group, but for the groups that you maybe you're working with, that's not going to come as easily. That's a really big thing. Yeah. Particularly for a group that you've only just met and don't know perhaps particularly well. So it's a big step forward.